two party platforms here. The first one and the oldest one uh, brags about. I'll just I'll just uh, again reread the opening to it. You you heard the rest of it. The, the record of performance of our administration on behalf of our working men and women goes still further. The federal minimum wage has been raised for more than two million workers. Social Security has been extended to an additional ten million workers. Benefits raised for six and a half million. The protection of unemployment insurance has been added to four million additional workers. There have been increased workmen's compensation benefits, increased retirement benefits, and wage increases and improved welfare and pension plans. And then they go on through all the various details and they end up calling for an equal rights amendment, literally amend the Constitution to give 100 percent equal rights to men and to women specifically, you know, keeping them at parity with men. And and also uh, to uh, the, the party points to an impressive record of accomplishment in the field of civil rights and commits itself anew to advancing the rights of all our people, regardless of race, creed, color or national origin. And they also supported comprehensive immigration reform reform. So that's the which party was that in what year? And then the second one, uh, which came a little bit later. Uh, calls for repealing all federal finance uh, campaign laws, repealing Medicare, repealing Medicaid, uh, re- 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 ending Social Security, uh, the repeal of the fraudulent, virtually bankrupt, and increasingly oppressive Social Security system, ending the post, uh, privatizing the post office, ending all taxes on wealthy people, including capital gains tax, uh, the eventual repeal of all taxation. Uh, all criminal and civil sanctions against tax evasion should be terminated immediately. In other words, it's perfectly legal to evade your taxes. Uh, ending minimum wage laws, ending the EPA, ending the DOE, ending the DOT, and privatizing all our roads and waterways so that uh, if you want to go anywhere, you have to pay a toll to some private corporation. Who was it? What were the years? Wayne, listening on WHMP in Northampton, Mass. What do you think, Wayne? Well, Tom, I'm going to guess Eisenhower in 56, the Republicans, and for the second one, that's a toughie, but I'll say uh, George W. Bush in uh, Republicans in 04. Okay, you, you you got it half right, but I'm not going to tell you which half um, until somebody gets them both, okay? But, uh, you know, hang on for the other half, Wayne. You didn't get the book. Uh, let's see here. Jim in Henderson, Kentucky. Hey, Jim, uh, you have an answer to the question? I believe I do. Okay. I agree with him as far as 1956 and Eisenhower. And then the other one, did I hear you correctly saying also ending abortion? And if that be the case, then I would say 76 with the Republicans. Okay. Uh, it does say uh, criminalizing abortion and ending all federal funds for abortion, but it's, it's not, it is not the, uh, what year did you say? 76 yeah no it's not the 76 republican platform so let's let's keep on going sorry jim uh charla in arcata california hey charla you have an answer hi well i'm gonna go with the 56 eisenhower and 92 libertarians is oh, my guess okay uh you're you're not right either but you're getting closer uh <laughs> charla thank you for the call uh julia in germantown maryland you have some you you think you figured out which ones they are uh, Jimmy Carter, nineteen seventy-six, for the Democrats. Nope. And Ron Paul, two thousand. Nope. Nope. Wrong on both. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Julia. Thank you. But I'm getting good guesses. You, you people are, you know, I mean, they're very logical uh, guesses that I'm getting. So this is this is great. Keep in mind, one of these platforms, the older one, uh, you know, calls for basically an equal rights amendment and brags about expanding Social Security, expanding worker benefits, strengthening unions, all those kind of things. And the other one. Uh, which came a little later, uh, all, it calls for basically the ending of Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, everything else. Jesse in Fullerton, California, you got an answer? Jesse? Well, that's me. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. I would say uh, 64 Democrats and also in 2008, uh, Ron Paul. No, no, sorry, you, you you missed him, Jesse. Good try, though. I mean, people are you're, you're getting close. Paul in Woodenville, Washington. Paul, you do you have the answers? I would say uh, Republicans. Uh, Eisenhower, fifty six was the old, the first one, and uh, the uh, Libertarian Party in nineteen seventy six. Uh, close, but no cigar. Uh, you're getting you're the closest of anybody so far, Paul, but not not yet there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, whoops, Thomas, you're not a, you don't have an answer here. Hang on, let me get uh, Adam in Fargo, North Dakota. Adam, you have an answer? Yeah, I was going to say Eisenhower in '56, and the second one, uh, Ron Paul in 2008. Nope. 
Nope. Uh, again, close, but no cigar. Uh, Carol in Monasson, Pennsylvania. Hey, Carol. Hi. I agree with the first one, Eisenhower, 1956. I think the second one is David Koch, 1980. You are right. It is the uh-huh. Libertarian Party. You are absolutely yes. right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Carol, you want a copy of my new book, ADHD and the Edison Gene, A Drug-Free Approach to Managing the Unique Qualities of Your Child, just out. And uh, and thank you for correctly identifying. Now, now just keep in mind, and, and after the break at the bottom of the hour, I'm, Carol, I'm going to put you on hold so that uh, Danielle can get your information. She's on line, line one, uh, Danielle. And, um, and she'll get your address and everything, and I'll autograph a book and send it off to you. But just, just to recap, the Republican Party's platform of 1956, this is the platform that Dwight Eisenhower ran for re-election on, says the federal minimum wage has been raised for more than 2 million workers, Social Security extended to an additional 10 million workers, benefits raised for 6.5, expanded unemployment insurance. You heard all these things. Uh, continue and further perfect its pro- programs of assistance to millions of workers with special employment problems, such as older workers, handicapped workers, members of minority groups, and migratory workers. Stimulate improved job safety of, uh, for our workers. Strengthen and improve federal state employment service. Protect by law the assets of employee welfare and benefit plans, in other words, pensions. Uh, Reagan undid that, which is why they're breaking up companies, declaring bankruptcy and stealing people's pensions so that the workers who are the beneficiaries can be assur- assured of their rightful benefits this is from the platform. Assure equal pay for equal work, regardless of sex. This is all the 1956 Republican Party platform. The 1980 Libertarian Party platform that David Koch ran for vice president on, which has quickly become essentially today's modern Republican Party platform, although they're not quite as honest about all these things, is repeal all federal uh, finance campaign finance laws, abolish Medicare, abolish Medicaid, abolish Social Security, abolish the uh, privatize the post office, uh, do away with all taxation, particularly ca- uh, including capital gains taxes. Uh, eliminate minimum wages. Eliminate the EPA. Eliminate the DOE. Eliminate the DOT. Repeal the Occupational Safety and Health Act. Uh, abolish the Consumer Product Safety Commission. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-536-2370. Now, isn't this bizarre? The 1956 Republicans were more progressive in their platform than many of today's Democrats. And the Libertarians, that's where the Republicans are becoming. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.